previously on. Oh, it's not him. Thank God. Quick, let me out before he returns. Unusual, as far as presents go. What? What did you say? You're supposed to be my present. A surprise from a certain Sergei. You're not making any sense! You know, like a pop-out cake. Except there's no cake. There's lots of blood. Damn. So, I can just walk in just like that, right? Okay. I guess I'll just... Ooh, let's turn off. Thank you. Alright, I'm walking... Oh, you gotta be kidding me, bro. Can I not walk into the clinic, bro? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I guess I can't really walk through the clinic, huh? How ironic. We. If it wasn't for me, you'd be a stain on a motel floor. How you feeling? Shitty, but something came to me. Gotta give yourself time to grieve, Judy. Experience all its stages. Feel them. Let them play out. Shock, anger, depression. I'd say I'm on anger. I'm gonna stay here for a while, too. I can work with anger. I mean, honestly, I would be angry, too, if my friend killed herself, but... So what did you come up with? The Mox died. Blizzy's bar used to be a joy house. Tiger Claws killed one girl too many, so people took matters into their own hands. Belongs to us now. Clouds could stand to get the same makeover. Sure you've thought this through, Judy? Carefully? <laughs> Haven't thought it through at all. All I know is the Mox didn't turn things around by sitting on their tanned and toned asses doing nothing. Got the Mox to agree to take over Clouds? No, I'm trying to get you. Know someone at Clouds will take our side. Will you help? Hell yeah, I'll do that. Why not? Fine. Got me on board. Oh, yes. Okay, so what's the plan? First up, we gotta talk to Maiko Maeda. If she's not with us, might as well throw our hands up in the air. Maiko Maeda? Who is she, exactly? Girl who unofficially runs Clouds. Good at it, too. What'd she do officially? She's a doll, so she's a nobody. Sure Maiko's gonna wanna join forces? If I was sure, I'd be on the hollow to her and we wouldn't be having this conversation. Let me rephrase. Any chance she'll slap us around and then shove us out her mega tower window? Of course, sure. Guess I can work with that? How well do you know this, Maiko? Too well. When are we doing this? Early morning. Clouds will be closed. Hardly a soul lurking at that time. How early? Before eight. I'll be Damn. by the entrance. That is early. I'll scratch that. The balcony above clouds. That's hella early. We'll sneak in. No one needs to know we're there. On the balcony. Got it. Right, because this bike is not going to fall. Anyways, I have one last cyber cycle mission that I'm interested in doing. Um, it seems like there was a massive shooting around the cafe. And I'm going to check it out and see exactly how bad is this cyber psycho. Because it seems like every time I do a mission, these people that get corrupted by these unauthorized mods that they put in their bodies, it gets worse and worse each time, so... I'm going to attempt to do this mission, but already I'm a little bit hesitant because on my journal, it does show that this type of mission is on difficult, so... Alright, let me find the Cyber Psycho, see exactly what's going on. Okay. 
seems like everything is good over here. A little too quiet. Can't be downstairs, so let me just look around some more. Downstairs? You're right. Why didn't I check? Oh, there's a corpse downstairs. Damn it. Okay. Alright. Finger on the tree. Oh my god. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh my god. Oh, Ayo. Hey, no, 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 no. Chill. Oh lord. Alright, Katana. Woo! Woo! Yo, she just came up at me. I am so sorry, but you are too dangerous. Like, I have to really cut you off. I'm not giving her any time of day to try and shoot me. Whew. Whew. Okay. I'm sorry. I really am. Oh. Okay. Message. Let me see. My dear sister, the time of revenge and the white light of frost white chrome and contempt has come. When you wake in the cold fluorescent light, remember how you humiliated me at my wedding. How I became the laughing stock of Night City, thanks to you and your Mr. Stud prank. I hope you'll enjoy my revenge, as I've chosen the most hideous implants from Jig Jig's nastiest ripple docks to make a few adjustments to your oh-so-beautiful body. Ah, and I almost forgot to mention, I'm getting married again. My future husband needs no introduction because he's your fiancé after all, and you know him so well. That's right, Kenny. But don't worry about him, I doubt he'll spot the difference. He's never been too observant, that one. I really hope you enjoy the craftsmanship and effect and the effort I poured into your new shell. It's the perfect match for the monster inside you. And I'm sorry to do this, but you're now welcome at my wedding. I hate to scare off all my friends and guests, or even Kenny. I'll be sure to send you some stales taken from outside your favorite restaurant, so you can always know what your life might have looked like. Stay strong, sis, and stay away from mirrors, your favorite sister. That sucks how her sister did that to her. Are you alive? Is she alive? I mean, she's moving her lips, so... Alright, let me just... Wow, she killed her sister. Well, wow. my dearest Lynn, I heard you've been worrying about security at the wedding. Well, put it out of your mind. It's one of our biggest stars. You know that your comfort and peace of mind is our top priority. I would never, ever let your sister ruin your big day. I'll see to it myself. You have my word. Your safety comes first, and that will never change. Even if, you're, even if you lost your looks, your talent. Never, no matter what. Besides, Dale's in a coma and will only wake up once you and Kenny are out, sipping watermelon mahios on the beach. So chin up and don't worry, or you'll get fine lines. Remember, your skin needs time to recover off the implant. Yours always, Celine. I assume you're Kenny? I mean, at least I got money from it, but wow, this is insane. I assume these are her bodyguards, right? Oh no, man, this is insane. So that's why there was the shootout at the cafe. 
because she basically killed her sister out of pure revenge. That sucks. Okay, is there anything? Oh, right here. Huh. Wow, that's messed up. Like, I, I'm not saying she's right to kill her sister and the hubby, but hey, revenge is revenge nonetheless. Why can I not scan this? That's cute. Wait, there's something down below? Okay. Hold on. Oh, that's awkward. Okay. This scene opens with a close-up of Kenny and Lynn posing for wedding pictures by Seaside Cafe. Scene shot against the sun with a slight glow in Lynn's flare. Typical, typical lively wedding music plays in the background while the wedding guests' conversations are a dull roar punctuated with a lo loud laugh and cheerful shouts. Suddenly, change of mood. The music shifts to something more ominous while the sound of a motorboat engine roars louder, obviously approaching at high speed. Next scene is overcast. The motorboat reaches the shore. Camera pan in on the figure on the motorboat. The terrifying double of Lynn, borge out and with a face contorted in pain and rage to Lynn's sister, Dale. Dale angrily confronts her sister, accusing her of putting her into a coma by spiking her wine then installing the worst comeback implants in her while she was unconscious. Dea lifts her arms to reveal the implants. The colorful party lights glint and dance on her chrome forearms. Lynn's face turns to stone in terror, and the music soars in a dramatic crescendo. Close up on Kenny's confused face, his eyes darting from one sister to another. Dale hurls herself at her sister, but security steps in at the last moment, and they all tumble into the waves. The final scene of the season comes to an end with a loud splash. End scene. Was this supposed to be a movie? Or a TV show? Because this ain't it. That's messed up. Alright. Got some good news. There is a happy ending to your favorite TV show after all. Our cycle star is alive and well. Flicking you the deets. Glad she's alive. Maybe there's a chance she'll start telling apart real life from TV life so we can... Uh, so we can start helping her. I'm just worried that what will happen when she finally realizes that Massacre wasn't fake blood and artificial limbs. Get a load of this. It wasn't an actual wedding. It was supposed to be an episode for your favorite TV show, Sagan Sisters. Spoilers incoming. The plan was to pit both sisters against each other by chipping one with faulty implants and putting her in a coma. Not from an allergic reaction, but with legit poison. In the meantime, the other sister gets plastic surgery to look like the sister in a coma so she can marry the latter's fiancé. How whacked is that? Except the coma sister woke up too soon, forgot she was on a TV show, and clearly didn't like her new implants. A fact she made known at the wedding reception with a performance no one would forget, at least, for the ones that meant she escape. First she took care of her sister, then the husband, and finally the whole TV crew. That's when guts really hit the fan. I thought Maelstrom were fucked up, but showbiz takes the cake this time. You're right, it's a reality TV show. Watson Whore doesn't even compare. 
That's insane. A TV show gone wrong. Wow. Oh my god, what the hell just happened? You mean to tell me, as soon as I parked, now you want to place that big old waste of trash can disposal right in front of my parked car? I fucking hate this game, bro. It's whack. So, I'm meeting Judy on the clouds terrace because, first of all, when Judy calls, I'm coming, like... I'll do anything for my BFF. Okay. Like, if she says jump, I'll be like, how high? Deadass, I don't care. And I know she's pissed off about what happened with Evelyn, and honestly, me too. The fact that they messed her up so bad that she felt like she had to kill herself. And I can never imagine the pain and suffering and torture Evelyn went through. So me and Judy are definitely going to avenge her death. Definitely. Anyways, walking away from that conversation. Ah, oh, okay, she's over there. So I gotta meet her early in the morning. Honestly, I'm not really a morning bird. I'm a night owl, so... Hostile area? I really hope there's no shooting here, please. Be a pain in the ass. I love how there's like a hidden compartment in this whole storage complex. I mean, not storage, but in this no future. Ah, nice. All right, Judy. I guess I'll wait for you. Ooh. Hey, nice. V. Thanks for showing. Anytime. You know I'm here for Talking you. Talking with Michael is like a game of 3D chess. Don't let her derail you. You seem a bundle of nerves. I have a mind to kill the bastards with my bare hands. So yeah, you could say I'm a teensy bit nervous. Some deets about her could be useful. When I talk to her, don't you think? No, leave the talking to me. How do you aim to get her over to our side? By telling the truth. About Evelyn, what happened and why. Think that'll cut it? No. Have to improvise from there. So in brief, I'm just here as your hustle, right? Never said that. I just know the woman better. All right, I trust you in this one. I'm ready. Let's go. Whenever you stop smoking your blunt. Hold on, I'll open it. Okay, do your thing. Look like that? No way you cracked it open on your first try. Know how to get around their systems? Appears so. Was hoping they hadn't run any updates since I left. Looks like I was right. Easy as paella. Follow me. Damn. And we're just gonna walk right in. Como si na. Okay. Judy Alvarez. I'd say it's great to see you, but I've never been one to lie. Also, I never like surprise parties, but you know. Yep, bet I even know why. Thought you'd hit rock bottom when you joined the mocks. 
Guess you've managed to stoop even lower now. Consorting with a common thug. Yes, V. I mean you. How the hell do you know my name? Oh, don't mind me. Just here to blend into the decor. That's no reason. Why come at all? To make sure Judy gets what she came for. Jude would have had a better chance without you. Judy has a proposal about clouds. Wanna come back? Done. Always valued your skills, you know that. Just don't get why you had to drag this... loose end in here. Stop treating dolls like meat and I'll consider it. But first things first. Clouds needs to be taken from the Tiger Claws. Okay, look. It's clear what happened to Ev was... traumatic. Huh? I was convinced you didn't know. That girl was asking for an unhappy ending. I was just surprised it took so long. We gotta do something! Or everyone will end up like Evie! Woodman raped her while she was unconscious, then sold her like she was so much scrap. Yeesh, you've always been unstable. Her okay. friend got killed. Since you seem more reasonable, care to explain what this is about? Judy's idea? Think about it. Could work. Well, well, Jude. See, you found a true and loyal fan. You aware what Woodman did to Evelyn when she was desperate for help? You sit by, let that happen? Tiger Claw bosses rule this place. Know how much I mean to them? Okay, so you're gonna About adjust. as much as you two and your problems mean to me. Read negligible. Does it make you wonder why you even work here? Gonna pretend as if you two weren't ever here. For old time's sake, Judy. Literally moments from now, security's gonna figure out you're here. Got two options. Go out the way you came in, or get thrown out. And that's not a threat or figure of speech. Just a friendly heads up. Had enough. I'm leaving. Smart move. And so you don't think I'm brushing you off completely? Forrest will be on the maintenance level in a couple minutes. Alone. I'm not your enemy here. And I didn't ask for your opinion. You picked the wrong side, Maiko. I'll be the judge of that. Anyways... That went smoothly. Hey. She totally blew us off. Know what I think? She's scared stiff. She'd have lots to lose if things went sour. Everything, in fact. So she'll just let things go on as usual? So what happens when you're complacent? Horribly complacent and scared. Need help? No? Okay. We'll think of something, Judy. There's always a plan B. That's for sure. You two have a history? Way back, yeah. I think I just felt lonely. Like everyone in Night City. She was different then. And so was I. Can't trust people that see everything as a numbers game. Line between patting you on the back as their friend and planting a knife in you as their enemy is down to a decimal. I know. Right there with you, I... Well, used to have a big crush on her. Okay. It took me a long time to realize who she really was. But still, honest or crooked, we need her. <sighs> Just think, could've gone diving this morning. A little unwinding do you good. Do me good too, actually. I wouldn't have been unwinding, not exactly. Got an idea buzzing in my head, working it, but I can't say if it'll amount to anything. Yeah, you a deck chair and a Mai Tai with a cocktail umbrella. Somehow I don't see it. No, me and the deck chairs, me mulling over coulda, shoulda, wouldas. 
Something I avoid right now. Damn, the graphics are beautiful, honestly. But Judy's more beautiful. Mm -hmm, I know. Ah, anyways. We gotta figure out what to do exactly. I mean, we can always just go Rambo. Take everyone out. But then again, there goes the cloud business. And how else would the girls get or even find a job? Wait a sec. What about Woodman? Well, what do you want to do? I want somebody to unload lead into his face till there is no face. Somebody. Me? Fine. Want you to do it. You sure he's gonna be there? You met Michael. If that prick still works here, it's cause he follows her orders pretty damn precisely. Don't have an ounce of sympathy for that motherfucker. So, we go in there? Damn straight. Let's end him. We'll take the elevator. Quickest way. Maintenance level. Oh shit, we're doing it now? Ho <laughs> You know what's worse than a corpo? A wannabe corpo bitch. You mean my girl? Piece of work, that one. But I'll give her credit. She's dead on about your chances of pulling this off. Well, you know what? I'm not gonna listen to you, Johnny. I'm always the woman that likes to prove people wrong, so I really don't care. Are you deadass watching me, Judy? You got something inside? No? Okay. I do have enough first aid med kits, so if something goes wrong. Where's Maiko? Why'd she fucking call me here? Evelyn's dead. Come here just to tell me that. That's fucking kind of you to remember. Here, go light a candle. When Evelyn needed help, you raped her. Could have also broken her neck. Hung up her head like a chandelier till it started to rot. <laughs> Instead, I took her to a ripper. Was due a little something in return. She should be grateful. And so should you. Hmm. Here's my token of gratitude. <laughs> there you go. There you go. He's dead. Uh... Get out of here, V. All right, bet. Ew, I got his blood all over me. Yuck. Next. Thought I'd uh, feel more. I'd be satisfied. Uh, punch the ground floor. I need to get out of this place. Okay. Almost felt like the world would be a better place once he died. And the feeling? It was so fucking strong. World did change, though. All the people he could have hurt, they're all safe now. Think of that. They'll never even know they were in danger. Yep, that's true. Even though that was a little bit anticlimactic, at least it's one piece of shit out of the streets. And no one got hurt. Well, no one will be getting hurt by him. And I say, let's normalize killing the rapist. Why not? Fuck it. And I just love how we just ganged up on him too. That shit's funny. Got 
Gotta get back to Michael with something big. Appealing to her sense of justice wasn't big enough? Michael only works with specifics. For a minute there, thought you were about to call it quits. V, I go for days tuning virtues in a basement. Know what the chances are of somebody blowing my head off down there? Minuscule. Same as Michael's empathy. Unlike you, I don't put myself out there. Damn. But this ain't over. Not yet. You know, I'm also partial to specifics. Uh-huh. So that's what matters. How many you'll drop. How much ammo you'll use. How many eddies it'll get you. Art and dreams of freedom can't be everyone's food. Sometimes. You gotta deal with the dirt. So, when now? Gotta think. We need more bodies, that's for sure. I'm gonna talk to the dolls. Okay. I'll call you when I've got something. See you later, V. And thanks. I like how she just walked <laughs> through me. Shit. Oh no, what happened now? Am I having another attack? Calm down, V. Take a couple deep breaths. It would pass, just like always, you know? Let's just go in the car. Hi! You there! Mysterious stranger! Yoo-hoo! Yeah, you! There any other mysterious stranger around here? A talking vending machine? Are you serious? You know what? How about I tell you a joke? Sure, be my guest. What must all trauma team medics swear to uphold? What? The hypocritical oath! Okay. What's going on? Hey there, stranger! I'm Brendan, your friendly neighborhood SCSM. And the nicest AI in all of Night City. You can select from a wide range of beverages. Or just drop by for a chat, anytime. Now it's your turn. What's your name? Why am I talking to a schism? Uh, my name's V. Pleasure to meet you, V. Do you come here often? Uh, pretty often, as a matter of fact. Because it's I'm home. sorry. Did I correctly hear you ask if I wanted to join you for a cup of coffee? I um, didn't say that, no? but... Oh, well, that's okay. Because you can have one now. And just to clarify, we don't have to move an inch. How do you take it? Milk? Sugar? Okay, you've got me. I'm sold. Sold? Nothing's gonna be sold here. Cause you know what? I'm gonna give you a can of Night Cola for free. Free? Thanks. Brendan, right? <laughs> That's right! Gosh, it's so cool you remembered. Even for a simple SCSM. Cool. So did you want something from me? Oh, yes. Well, I do apologize for taking advantage of you at this early stage in our friendship. But... Could I ask you for a favor? What, what is it? See that container in front of me? It's completely blocking my view of the street. Depriving an SCSM of its greatest pastime. Could you move it a bit to the side? I'll reward you with my undying gratitude. Even though, technically, I don't stock that. I'll see what I can do. Wow, this is interesting. Why not, right? Thank you, V. Boy, are you strong. Here, oh, fuck have a refreshing beverage Teenage. on me. Catch you later, Brendan. Catch me? Why? Will I be falling? It's just something you say as a way of goodbye. Oh, I get it. I mean, I don't, because catching has nothing to do with goodbyes, but... <laughs> oh, well. Don't humans say the darndest things? Catch you later, V. <laughs> what a neat phrase. Huh, that's cute. That is so cute. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next time.